Oh my god, hair in my eye. I made myself a box of my e.l.f. makeup, but I really could have used a huge box. I thought I would do a full face with e.l.f. products. Yay! I have a lot of e.l.f. products. In fact, when I was gathering everything for this video, I was surprised how much e.l.f. products I have. I had just purchased some of them, maybe trying to fill in a little bit of the holes, but really most of it I already had. And there's a lot more that I have than is gonna go into one face's worth of tutorial. So let's get started. I have like a lot of e.l.f.'s primers, but I haven't actually gotten the chance to use and test them out much. The only one that I've used a lot is their poreless face primer which is what it sounds. It's supposed to be kind of like, you know, the Benefit Professional or anything like that. But it definitely has a very different texture. You can see it's just like, it just looks like a white kind of cream. So it doesn't have that same kind of texture as those other pore ones. I would say this doesn't fill in pores as much. But if that's not a huge concern for you, the way it's not a huge concern for me, I think it does the job fine. I think it's good. I don't know if I'd repurchase it or not. But I mean, you know, if you find it on sale and it's really inexpensive, it's certainly not not worth purchasing. Yeah, I don't have a lot of pore issues today. Just press it in. In fact, it doesn't want to press in much for me right now. I just took a sheet mask off so my face is kind of wet. But I just use it on these areas where I have some pores, maybe a little down here. Their other primer that's like that, I have this hydrating one, which I did not just purchase, but it's just kind of been sitting waiting to be used. So let's give it a go. So it also kind of feels like a kind of clear jelly. Oh, kind of, it's, it feels like a silicone primer, which is not what I was expecting since it says it's hydrating. Oh, I did also have their aqua primer mist which i might use at some point in the middle of the makeup application it's definitely like the wettest mist that i have it's got a lot of spray and everything i don't feel like i need it right now but i might use it later but i am going to use their hydrating whoop, the hydrating under eye primer i use this regularly this is not my first one and i like it it just it does hydrate the under eyes and i feel like it helps the makeup stay there and that's one of my that is my biggest problem area. I just try to spread it there gently. You don't need a ton. I definitely don't go through the product fast. Even though it looks pretty small, you're not going to go through it quickly using it on the daily. I know one more product I'm going to use before I go into foundation. So I have this very worn <laughs> acne concealer of theirs that I usually use around my nose. And I'm going to do that before I do the foundation. I have a pimple under my nose and my nostril, which for me, it's like a celebration. Yay! I don't have any of Elf's blending sponges, so we're gonna be trying to use fingers. I definitely have brushes, but as far as what I would usually blend with a sponge, because usually I, I like blending this with a sponge. I'm just trying, for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna do the fingers. Usually I color correct. I definitely have some red spots. My under eyes, I'd like to color correct, but I don't have any of the color correctors actually from e.l.f. So I'm trying to do that today. So maybe we'll end up double concealing. This is a new concealer I got. I haven't tried it yet. It's their HD Lifting Concealer. I've heard good things, but I was interested in trying it before. But this kind of, just trying to be able to have one that's e.l.f. kind of pushed me to decide to go ahead and give it a try. Mostly just wasn't interested in trying it because I have other concealers that I already know I like and I didn't think it was likely I would like this more. It's darker than I expected it. What shade is this? This is light. I think I saw that there is also a fair. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to make this work for my under eyes. This is darker than my normal skin tone. <laughs> Okay, so just, just a little bit of concealing before the foundation. The foundation I'm gonna use is, and this one looks, this bottle is loved. This bottle's been through it. It's not that old, but yeah, it's only, it, it's cheapish packaging, but it's fine, it gets the job done. It's the e.l.f. Foundation Serum, and my shade is Fair Light. 
And I actually really like this a lot. And one of the reasons I think I had this video in mind is because Jessica of Jam Beauty did a video with this and she puts on this foundation and she hates it so much. Like as much as she's probably ever hated anything she's put on, she takes it off of her face and puts something else on. She hates it so bad. And I was just like, ah, it's my favorite. I love that foundation. And I do. And I mean, I, that's not like, it's just so funny to see how differently products can perform for different people. And it kind of makes it make sense when there's that product that I hate. I'm like, okay, it might not just be shit. It's just not for me. It's just, it's probably great for someone else. So I like this. And it's an extremely light coverage. It's extremely lightweight which I like for a normal, everyday basis. Um, with I have dry skin, and I feel like it just suits my dry skin better to have something be this light, and I like it. The shade is really nice for me. It just, less like a real foundation, it feels almost like the equivalent of having like nylons over your skin, where it's just like a really subtle blur, like a really subtle you know, over your face. I'm just gonna, I only, I actually usually put this one on with my fingers. I got this foundation in their store, in the one in LA. I went in there thinking I was gonna get the Flawless Coverage Foundation. Cause I was, you know, a lot of people, including Jessica, had talked about really liking that one. And I liked it in store too, but when I tried this one, I liked it better. So I came home with this instead. And then she went and hated it, which is funny. And I can understand why she didn't like it, because it didn't, I think the, the color didn't, just didn't suit her as well, and she just didn't like it. On her, it did look a little strange, and maybe she got a bad one for all I know. I don't know. But I mean, the color looks nice. At least I like the way it looks on me. God, I really do like this. I'm so sorry other people hate your foundation. I'll take you. You can come live with me. This is one of those bottles where I'm not going to know that I'm out of this until I'm out completely. And that's going to be a sad day. It's going to be a sad surprise. I'm going to be halfway through doing my face with it. And then it's going to be, oh, oh, oh no. Because this is just, this is not the color here. This is like plastic that makes, because see, inside, it's not that. So, yeah, I'm not going to know until it's gone. You don't know, how, you, can, you can't see based on that bottle, it, how much I've used, because I have used it quite a bit. I've liked it quite a bit. Like, I don't even know that that's gonna show on camera that much, the foundation. I don't think it does it, you know, much justice, but try it in person. It's just, it's very light, and it just makes my skin look nicer. It doesn't make it look drier. It doesn't make it look old. I just like it. I'm gonna go back in with this concealer, but I'm worried it is so dark. I mean, I usually lean towards the fair shades, but usually I don't have a big problem with light shades. They're just kind of like on the dark side for me, but this is, to me, this is a very dark light. You know, it would have gotten fair if they had it, but I bought this at the drugstore. I got this at CVS, and I feel like a lot of times they don't, you know, they don't carry nearly all the shades that Elf makes and has, and so they didn't have the fair. This is the lightest one that they carried, which is not very light. I will probably could use a little more consistency with their shades. I feel like that's that can be hard, especially because if you're really shopping their shade range, you know, you're shopping online, you can't test them in the stores anyway. So their shade range can be a little tricky. You know, if I'm buying something online, I usually look around for other people's swatches and try to get an idea of what the shade looks like. I'm sure there are people that hate that I'm applying this directly to my skin too. Maybe it's not the best idea, but maybe it would be a good time to bring in that priming mist like I talked about. What? Now, you're going to want to hold this one like as far away from your face as you can and, and duck and hide. Because it's an intense one. Let's do maybe like a little bit of like contouring. I like... This is their cream contour palette. I do like it quite a bit. Pretty much exclusively for the one shade that has my grubby fingerprint in it. This one here, it's really nicely cool toned. It works as a nice contour for me. It's pretty light. It's not too dark. So I guess I could have used this as a concealer. Mm, that's an idea. I don't know that it has a good 
consistency for it's definitely a better shade match for me than that lifting concealer was i might try using that i might think about it let's do the contouring i'm just gonna use my fingers you know these blend pretty nicely i like the shade of it these have such a big pretty mirror in them too although this palette unlike unlike these other ones like see here's like this is the illuminating palette. See, these ones will pop out, but the cream one doesn't pop out. And maybe they're just trying to keep me from mixing my creams and my powders. But I want to. Let me do what I want, ma. I mean, I wouldn't want to on a regular basis, but like when I'm traveling and I want to just take one and it's like, I'll be careful. I'm pretty sure they have a cream blush one too that I haven't had. I mean, I like these and it's nice. Like these palettes, if they appeal to you, you know, I say go for it. But I wouldn't say that like there's some must have for me. This is actually one of my favorite places to contour is right here on the side of my face. It might only make a difference to me. But see, I see a big difference there on this side versus the other side. When I look at it, I feel like it really like brings my face in. And since I'm at it, I'm going to add some up here. Let's use one of these products I really like. This is their cream stick. It's like a highlighting stick. This is in the shade Spotlight. This is their e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. Pretty sure this is like one of their dollar brushes because the white handles and stuff are like their cheeky brushes. We're not doing anything complicated right now, so this is more than fine. I'm just going to take a little bit of the color on the brush and put it on my cupid's bow. Because I have so much redness, I like that this spotlight is just a pure white. I've had other similar products that I've liked to put here for a while. But when they have that, a bit of pinkness, I don't really like it as much here. It just doesn't suit me as well. I like this white highlight instead. I go a little overboard in applying it because by the end of my makeup, you know, there's gonna be powders coming in to it's not gonna be as intense as it is at this moment. But yeah, that's high maintenance. This thing is only a dollar though. So it is and it isn't high maintenance. Is their moisturizing foundation in ivory. How does this shade look on me? I think the next thing I'm gonna do is actually put a little color on my eyelids, but we should start that game. A little eyelid primer. Cheers, my eyelid primer. This is the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. And I can lie, this was in my uh, backup makeup, not my uh, A-team right now. But I don't have any problems with it. I don't have a lot of eye primers though that stand out to me as being like my actual favorites. Is this one in a funny shape? Yeah, this is in pearl. I wasn't expecting that, but here we are. It's on my eyes. I think I've also had the champagne one. So this is pearl. I think they also have like a champagne one. I think they also have just a translucent or a skin toned one. I gotta be honest, I do not like the way this looks and that is why it was in my B-team drawer, huh? It's got like, it just kinda looks like it's got some glitter and now my eyelids just look a little bit glittery, which I'm not really into. Cause I'm planning on having a matte eye look too. But I don't think it'll matter too much, it'll be fine. The color I'm gonna apply, I really like these. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I'll actually go what they're called exactly. These are a liquid eyeshadow. I think it was part of their Aqua Beauty line range. This is the shade Soft Beige. My favorite is this Blushing Rose color. I got this one and I liked it so much that I got all of the rest. Which, they're pretty similar, especially these two are really similar. But I mean, if you like them like I did and they're very inexpensive, then it just seemed worth having them all to play with. Yay! I like, I feel like a lot of people have oily eyelid problems. I am dry down to my eyelids. So I like um, a cream based product on my eyes for sure. So here it is in soft beige. I've applied it with my fingers. I've also applied it with a brush. Let's just start with the fingers. I've never put it like wand to eye though. It seems a little weird to me. So this is a pretty subtle shade and this is not what I'm gonna stick with on my eyes. I'm gonna come back to my eyes later. 
this is just kind of like a base I want to put down. I tend to do that a lot. I'll use this or something else that just kind of has like a deeper skin tone, a bronzy tan base for my eyes. I like it. I like them really warm toned like this rather than my own tone. Maybe it's sort of, I feel like it brings out the blue. I don't know. I just, I'm happy usually if that's what I do. I don't think I've ever worn these totally alone. I think I always put some kind of powdered eyeshadow or just powder on top of them. I feel like they would crease if they were left alone, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I mean, this matte look clashes with that, that primer, but we do now. I feel like I have very veiny eyelids and I just really want to cover all that up. I do really enjoy going to their store. I've been to the one when I visit LA in the Glendale Galleria. And it's just nice to be able to play with all their products. The employees have been really nice. Although I wish, now that they have their little online perks system, I wish I could use that in store. That would be really awesome. Because I tend not to use it online. Usually, like online has better deals than in the store. You know, because online they run promotions and there's almost always like a, a free gift, but that's not the case in store. It would be cool if they would even that out. And if when they're running a gift online, you could get that in the store or that they ran something in the store that you could use or, you know, like with the, the their like um, rewards program, I'll rack up those like discounts with that or something. But I'll tend not to use them online because I'll have like some other code that I'm using at that point in time. And so maybe if I could at least use those benefits in the store, anything like that would be cool. And I think I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm gonna also add in the lighter shade, which I think is the reason to even have like the lighter shade. This is new linen. I'm gonna put that just above it. Not like in the crease, but more like the, eye, the brow bone area. I don't think I'd ever applied it this way by putting it directly on, but it actually works. All right, I think we've got to call that and not fuss with it forever. I think I want to use one of these, almost largely just to be able to mention it at all. These are the shimmering facial webs, and this one's pretty worn off. And it's the shade Lilac Petal, which is the best shade that they do. Although it's in no way lilac, so I don't know why it's called that. I would totally take one that had like a purple tone to it, but this is not. It's very pinky almost peachy, but pretty pinky. There are liquid highlighters. I also have, I think I have them in all the colors because they're only like a dollar and they're really nice. I haven't been using this one. I got put away. I pulled it out for this. I'm gonna try using this under my eyes. I wanna have a powder ready and I got this, the HD powder in sheer. Let's check it out. See what you think. I've never used this before, obviously. You see, it's not a setting powder. It's like a finishing powder. It's got a poof. I also have this e.l.f. powder, which I'm wondering if that would suit better under the eyes or not. I'll try this one. Right, under the eyes. It's got a very yellow tone. I mean, I can't imagine this is gonna end up being like my favorite under eye concealer, but we'll see if it works at all. Okay, let's see how this powder does. This powder has a weird sponge with it. It's got a nice big pretty mirror though. I don't really know what they're imagining you're gonna use this powder for. I don't think I figured that out yet. It's not too bad. I definitely like the way the one eye looks better than the other. So let's move on and do the other eye. This is almost Precision part of the job. I can't talk right now. I'll talk later. This is hard work. Not bad. This thing says it's translucent, but I don't think it is. I think it's like a fair skin tone. Maybe a fair to light. I don't believe it. A lot of times these things say they're translucent, and I look at them like, I don't think you're telling the truth. Let's try putting a little of this down here where I have redness. Let's go a little ham with this. I'm gonna go actually and use this HD powder and just give it a little powdering before I move on. Oh look, it's like, pour powder here. I'm like, 
I was about to, and then I'm like, wait, there's a sticker. Oh, no, wait, the sticker's telling me to pour the powder there. Woo! Okay, that pours out fast. It's got a nice little, like, close to the sifter and stuff. Like, the packaging's nice for it. I mean, it's just plastic, but... And the powder puff feels nice, too. Oh, it's got a little, it's got a little, um, crease in it. So, to me, it's like... Mm, mm. But it feels really soft. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, I got too much of my puff. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, well, I think it's going to make me look a little powdery, but hopefully a little bit of a, of a spray will help with that. I have such a love-hate with powders. You know, they give you such a pretty finish and everything, but then they make me look dry. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I have to try it some more and all, but so far it's nice. Oh, there's a, there's a crease in the middle of the puff because of the, you know, the sifter. That's cute. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and go in with a setting spray now. I have their Makeup Mist and Set. I know they have an illuminating one too, which I also have, but right now let's just use this one. It is not as crazy as the Primer Mist spray. It does not attack as much. So I think actually while I kind of let that settle, I'm gonna go into my eyes now. Hold on, this is a little crazy. But I've tried this look and I like it. I wanted to try it with e.l.f. I'm gonna do actually this lip color on my eyes. This is their um, e.l.f. matte lip color. This shade is in coral. So it's kind of that peachy pink color. And I happen to think it makes a very pretty eye look. These matte lip colors are all ready. Like, they're good. I like them. And everyone's mystified that the bottom is a little sharpener. Let's go for it. I want a brush. Oh, and I want it to be an e.l.f. brush. Pay attention, Morgan. Focus. I kind of want that more um, plasticky feeling, though, if you know what I mean. I don't want one that's really bristly because of the I hear. Um, let's try this. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush. So that's what I mean. It's got that kind of like smooth plasticky bristles rather than the more natural hairy feeling bristles. It's kind of more like you'd want in a lip brush since you're using a lip product. And I find that it's a slow build to use the lip product on the eyes. I don't know if you could apply it directly to the eyes. I haven't tried that yet. I've just used the brush. I've done this look with different lipstick, but I haven't done it with this specific one. So I don't know how well it'll work, but I'm optimistic. I think it'll be fine. And these matte lip, they're, I mean, they're just like the rest of e.l.f. They're really reasonable and affordable. I think my favorite one is in the shade T Rose. It's kind of purpley a little. Just like a little, like it doesn't look like a purple lip, but it's just kind of that nudie kind of lilac -y. I think this makes for a really nice everyday kind of look on the lid, actually. I just think it's nice. And I haven't had like it really wear funny or anything that makes me unhappy based on the fact that it's like a lip. Okay, it's actually nice. Maybe just apply it directly, actually. What do you think? Let's do the other eye. I like it. I like this kind of tone where it's just kind of this pale peachy pink like this. This coral shade is the shade I found that I like the most, but I, you know, um, I'll probably explore with other shades. I'll probably explore with other textures too, but so far this matte, you know, a matte lipstick has been what I've liked and not like a liquid lipstick, not something that's going to dry crazy, but just kind of like your normal lipstick that's matte. I'm sure like a satin and stuff would work well. The gloss, of course, would give you that like glossy look that's in that I'm also into, but I don't know if I would do one of those like really like liquid lipsticks. I would really like dry and be weird on your eyelid. I'm going to put a little under on the lower lash line too. I'm just going to use the same. I'm just gonna use the same brush, why not? I think it's gonna be fine. When I use the same brush like this under the eye, I use, you know, the tip of the flat brush, and then the lid, you're using like the broad side of it, I suppose, is what I would call it. I'm gonna pull it a little further out, and then I'm gonna come in and blend it back. I'm sure this isn't for everyone, but I think it's pretty. I think it looks cool and made up, but it doesn't look like heavy makeup. It's just nice, I think. So now I wanna blend in. I'm gonna take the bronzer that I'm going to use, which is where? Where are you? Excuse me. 
your bronzer. Hello, are you hiding? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna take this blush bron elf bronzer, which I haven't used. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little afraid of it because it looks kind of dark, but I wanted a matte bronzer and this is the one I had. It's just, it's one of their cheapies. You can tell by the white packaging. And it's in the shade Glow, but it feels like it's lying to me. And I know that I have a blush in the shade Glow, which is definitely not the same. It's a little confusing. I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush. This is their e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. This might be just like my favorite brush. I have a number of them. They're very inexpensive. And it's just, it's fluffy and it's a big fluffy. I just find it so useful for so many different things. I can use it under my eye, I can use it on my nose, I can use it on my eyelid. I like it. If you're gonna use it on your eyelid, obviously it's going to be, I mean, it's a big brush for the eyelid. So it's gonna be doing something where you are blending it everywhere. It's not, this is not your precision. I wouldn't go in with this with some like intense color cause you're just gonna look crazy. But for something that I'm just blending out for a very natural color, I think it works. And I don't know that this shade is good, gonna be good for me as a bronzer. There was an e.l.f. bronzer that I really went to town on and hit pan, but it's got more of, um, it's got more shimmer to it. It's that, so their pressed mineral bronzer. That's a lot of pan. That's a lot of pan that I hit. Okay, now I'm gonna take it in with a smaller brush. Let's do this. This is their contour brush. I think I've used three e.l.f. brushes on my eyes now. None of them did e.l.f. in time me to use my eyes. This is how I roll. I have eye brushes of theirs too. It's just not what we're using today. I think I like it. This is the e.l.f. liquid highlighter. I think it was part of their aqua beauty, but I'm not positive about that. I like it quite a bit. It's huge. I can't imagine anyone would ever go through this. I mean, that's a giant liquid highlighter, right? Since it's in the shade illuminating, I don't think there's multiple shades. I like going in the inner corner with it. Just put it on with my finger and I don't get very precise. There, you can totally see a difference already between the two eyes. Oh, I know too. Let's see. Maybe try a little on the cheek, actually. Going in with that bronzer now. I'm a little scared with it. I'm a little scared of it. A little scared of this bronzer. Let's try this brush. This is one of the e.l.f.'s cheapy brushes. This is their professional total face brush. This is like, I don't know, but it's their cheap line of brushes. But it's nice, and I have a couple of them. Because it's big and fluffy, and I like it. I don't think everyone likes it, but let's try this out. Be brave. I don't think this is gonna be taking the place and making it into my, uh, you know, favorite bronzers or anything, but it's getting the job done. What now? Face, what now? Well, since we did the bronzer, I think it's high time to tame the eyebrows. And I have a fair amount of e.l.f.'s brow products that I have liked. Let's go with this one. This is their e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe. It's got the spoolie on one end and just the pencil on the other end. It's definitely a, a pretty dark taupe as far as taupes go. Since I like to highlight my hair, although it's not that highlighted right now, I like to go for a brow color that's slightly lighter. I think a lot of brunettes, it's a good way to go unless you really want that darker brow. But I'm not that picky about my brows. Well, I am and I'm not. I don't like my brows to look really sharp. I like them to look fluffy and wild and natural. But I do, it's weird because I say that, but then like even if I'm having like a no makeup day, like a little bit of brow product is such a must for me. I feel like it really changes the way that I look and that my face looks, but I just don't like them to look too much. Let's put a little of that in. I already think that it looks like a lot. This is not a pencil that's going to give you individual hairs. That's not my thing. I'm probably never going to show that off. So this is not the kind of thin. I just like to fill in some of the sparse spots, add a little bit of color. I like to brush my brows up. So I do I do like a good spoolie and this one gets the job done. I do feel like I need some kind of gel or something. And I don't have a real gel from e.l.f. But I do have this like fiber product. It's got a tame and treat and I'm not exactly sure what this is called, but this I think is like some kind of gel you'd put on your eyebrows first, which I never remember to do. I never noticed a big difference from it anyway. And then on this side, you've got like a colored fiber product. And this spoolie is way too big for eyebrows and makes this product 
super messy. If you have small brows, just don't even try. You definitely have to have larger brows and it's still just like super messy. I just think it fills them in a little. And when I am trying to make my brows look a little bit lighter, I like it because it can kind of accomplish that. I feel like they look like Groucho Marx brows on the camera, but I don't think they will in person. And especially not when I actually like get my things into the picture. I have a lot of blush from e.l.f. Okay, here's their powdered blush palette. I think I'm gonna try this here. I have mixed these up before to put the ones that I actually use together. So I do hope that's from the blush palette. I think it is. Use this e.l.f. blush brush. And it's a very bronzery tone. I think since I get so much redness, I tend away from much blush too blushy a blush and also this isn't that kind of a look like since i have peachy eyes i don't really want to be too peachy in my face product let's do the lashes and see how we feel let's do put on some mascara so mascara wise the products i thought i would pull out from elf i looked at their curler their eyelash curler and it was not doing it for me it looked, I mean, the problem for me was the shape of it. Here's the eyelash curler I like. It's a very curved one. And Elf's was much more a normal kind of straight shape. So I just knew that I wasn't going to like it. And I didn't see the point to, you know, trying it out for no reason. All right. So I'm working on my lashes. I applied their uh, Elf mascara primer, which honestly, I don't know that I'd particularly recommend, but if you're really interested in it, it hasn't been total garbage. You can give it a try. I have lashes that are stubborn to curl. So I'm just gonna fill with them a little bit more. I don't feel, I feel like this primer makes it harder to get my lashes to curl, not easier. I have never had an e.l.f. mascara. So I, well, all right, we're gonna pull out this one, which I've never used before. And it's really cheap. So let's hope it's not terrible. It's their lengthening and defining mascara. I, mean, I think this is like a dollar. Like, I did not pay much for this. But um, I have a huge mascara hoard right now, so I didn't really want to get more mascaras. This was already part of that huge mascara hoard. I figured now is as good a time as any to, to pull it out and give it a go. It's got a very normal looking brush. I'm actually not that picky with my mascara, so this might be just fine. Just fine. It's some kind of black. It looks like a black black. Yeah, I think it's just black. I actually like a brown mascara, but I feel like they're not popular right now, so they're pretty hard to find. But I, I take them when I find them. All right, I'm thinking this mascara is certainly not gonna impress anyone with its mascara-ness. But if you're interested in a very, very, the most inexpensive mascara you could find, and you don't need it to be the world's best, you just want it to do something, I don't have any particular complaints for it. That's the one I done. He's not, it's not problematic. Let's do the lower lashes. Oh, Elf also has this cool thing. It's a mascara and shadow shield. You'd like put it under your eye or over your eye to protect it from fallout or getting mascara. I tend to get mascara on my eyes a little bit, but just wipe it off. But I'll use it if I'm doing if I forget to do my eye look before I do my face and I know that I'm using something that's likely to have fallout, I like having this to catch some of that fallout. I've definitely had brushes that are worse for the lower lash. I like to keep a lower lash mascara specifically around, even if that seems high maintenance. It is something that works really well for it, something that's waterproof, something that has a brush that catches those little lashes nicely. I'm gonna give the top one just another little bit of a coat. How's that? Mm, that's it. I think that does the job. I don't hate it. I'll probably use it. Oh, so since it's not a waterproof, I do have their waterproof mascara top coat that I thought I would put on it. I'll add this sometimes if I'm doing something. I get watery eyes, allergy eyes. So like, especially if I'm gonna be outdoors and I know maybe it's like, I'm going someplace really windy or for some other reason, I'll put this on top of even an already waterproof mascara sometimes just if I really want that extra help. But I've never put it to any kind of a crazy test to know for sure what kind of a help it's doing anyway. So, I don't know. so now is when I like to do a little liner. And I think I did find an elf liner I have, yeah. This thing is old. It's quite the cheapy. It says it's their brightening eyeliner pencil and it doesn't have a shade 
written on it or anything. Swatched it, played with it. I thought it was gonna do the job. I need to sharpen it a little. I really like tight lining my upper lash line. I feel like it makes a big difference for me. I think that like, maybe compared to more people that my, I feel like my waterline is quite visible. Okay, I'm not sure this is gonna work. See if it's something I can kind of like get started if I rub it on my hand a little. I think this isn't a black black either. It's kind of like a gray. I wanted to try to make it work for the sake of the video, really. Yeah, we gotta pull something else out. This isn't working on the waterline. It might work elsewhere. The e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. This has been well used. I've really liked this palette. And right now, one of the downsides to doing the lipstick thing is that I did really want to show off their palettes because I like them. But I want to do the lipstick thing. But so I'm just pulling this out right now for the black eyeliner shade. Also forgot to realize I don't have an e.l.f. eyeliner brush. I don't think I've had one that I got rid of or anything. I think I've just had eyeliner brushes and I don't know. For some reason I've never managed to pull out an e.l.f. one and I didn't notice that. Mascara always brings it together, huh? I think I wanna try one thing, the Illuminating Palette. I've never really tried this shade, but it was kind of appealing to me today. It seems pretty, so let's try doing a little highlighting with that. Oh yeah, I need an e.l.f. brush. Um, let's use the small tapered brush from e.l.f. I'm sure I put, this is like, anyone who's counting is like, how many powders, how high maintenance? And it's like, that's what happens when you get playing, you know, you just wanna use all the things. In fact, let's just go nuts, because I have one more. It's their highlighting dewy drops. Or, no, sorry. This is the glossy three-in-one makeup top coat. It's just kind of like a gloss. Let's just put a little bit of this on the highlight area of the cheeks too. I've also used this on my eyelids for that, uh, you know, glossy eyelid look. That's that. And now let's finish this up with the lips. I'm gonna use everyone's favorite. This is a very popular product. This is their lip exfoliator. This one is super well loved. It's down to the nub now. Like I'm like done with this. I've already got backups. Um, this is the like original flavor, but now they've got all kinds of fun flavors. So I believe there's also mint and grapefruit and rose and cherry. I think they call this one maybe like brown sugar or something. It just tastes sweet. It doesn't have a lot of their flavor or anything. I think the reason everyone likes these is because they're all, they're incredibly affordable. They're very reasonable. It lasts for a good while. And it's a very non-messy, easy way to quickly give yourself some lip exfoliation. And now let's done a little lip liner. I found these recently and I like them a lot. So I thought, figured I'd show it. It's a double-ended, you got the liner on one side and you just have a lip brush on the other side. And so I think they're really awesome for carrying around in your purse for when you, if you need it. If you've got that kind of messy lip look where you really wanna carry that lip liner around with you and then you also have the brush in there and you're only gonna use it with those shades, obviously. And they're inexpensive and so I like them. This is in the shade Nude Pink. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use that same uh, lip color, the matte lip color after this. I'm gonna fill in my lips. All right, lips lined. Looks good, looks good. And now let's just go right on top of it with the lip color. It's not absolutely necessary to line your lips with these, but this is one of those shades that just sits on my lips a little funny. And so, it, you know, it benefits from the assistance of the lip liner. And there we have it. I like the pink the lids. I'd say it really didn't come out as being like super pink, but I like the look. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks very spring, very simple. And yeah, I love the Elf Cosmetics. I think it's a great brand. I think it's great how affordable they are. And I'm gonna complain and I like it. And goodbye!